today we will figure out if it's good or bad to use pre-made assets in your artworks. Will I go to hell for using stuff other artists made in my works? Will people judge me for doing this? Am I a loser for using something I haven't created from scratch? The answer is f no. Of course not. But I know that stage in every artist's life and I know exact thoughts you might have because I was there too. Uh, there was a period when I was obsessed with uh, desire to create everything myself from scratch all the time. It wasn't a bad thing actually, I learned a lot of things, uh, modeling techniques, whatever, doesn't matter. But at some point it started to slow me down. And these days on forums, on Facebook groups and in my comments I see people suffering from same obsession. It's absolutely fine to use other artists' work as long as they made it accessible, downloadable and you are not stealing anything. This is the exact purpose of those assets and the reason it were shared to be used by others. There should be a common sense in everything, gentlemen. And of course, stealing is f***ing bad. You download or buy 3D assets or textures or anything like that to use in your own unique artwork, don't you? So why? Why does it bother you? As long as the assets are used in your own unique artwork, it's absolutely fine. No one can be just like you anyway. Kid bashing is fine. Here's a good example, that uh, Volvo scene I made last year. I created it. Have I modeled the car? Hell no! I bought the geometry from TurboSquid and created everything else. Materials, lighting, animations, everything. Why would I waste my time modeling the car? It was already modeled for me and I paid for that. Does it mean I suck in modeling? I don't know. I modeled this robot from scratch when I was interested in learning some modeling techniques. Does this make uh, this work someone else's? No, it's mine. I presented it in a way that I wanted and I paid to save myself some time. You see? Common sense. In a corporate world, we always receive CAD models of the products from our clients, so all we have to do is to shade them, light them, render them, and make them look sexy, but the models were already done for us. In the exceptional cases, when there are no models available, we may have to model them ourselves. And it's fine, as long as it's really necessary. Before starting a business, I worked for another company and I had to model a whole range of speakers once because client didn't have any models and they really wanted to do a CG visualizations of their product. All I had were real speakers mockups, so I measured them and modeled them from scratch. To summarize guys, if you want to progress, you need to be effective. Time management is a big part of this. Repeating stuff again and again does not benefit you in a long run. If you can, save yourself some time, use the assets that are available on internet. Learn something new instead in the freed up time. Free assets, paid assets, doesn't matter. They are there to save your time and people who made them would love you to buy or download their stuff and use it. Paid assets are usually much higher quality than free ones, but there are a lot of resources that offer free stuff as well. Speaking of assets, did you know I have a little store with uh, some assets I'm sharing? Procedural shaders for Octane and Cinema 4D, some textures for the price of a cup of coffee. Uh, the link is always in the description. By buying other artists' assets, you're uh, saving yourself a lot of time and greatly support the creators who made them. From all those dudes and myself, thank you for this. And thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Peace.